What's up, movie trivia, Shmodown fans? It's time for another Shmodown reaction, and this time, I believe it's my first, no, second one for this uh, season, my second Star Wars reaction. Obviously, the first one was Molly Damon versus uh, Laura Kelly, with that, but I was, uh, I think it was before I bought these new markers, so, um, that's why, that's why I got confused. It's the first time I'm going to be using my black marker, uh, because I have a, sp a different marker for each type of match. I have red for t for singles, green for inner geekdom, blue for teams, and black for Star Wars because there really wasn't an orange colored one or whatever the hell the color of the Star Wars League is. Star Wars Division, sorry. So black worked the best. But anyways, uh, this was the first ma uh, Star Wars match of the season with two rookies. So that's great. Lacey Gillerin versus uh, Gold Leader. We've got uh, the... Den, I believe, versus uh, the Finstock Exchange. I don't know who I don't know who to root for because uh, they're both rookies. But um, well, I'm just have, gonna have to uh, watch the match and uh, see for myself who to root for. Uh, but now the, the the Exchange definitely has a lot of characters this season with Brother Lomas, the Rager, all uh, Mo the Moose. They, they definitely. Uh, uh, Pulled no punches getting all these uh, weird uh, and kooky characters. And Gold Leader, I'm assuming, is no uh, exception. I mean, he already came with a nickname, so that's uh, that's go good. But I'm just uh, rambling on at this point. And let's just watch the match and see how well I do compared to how well these competitors are going to do. So, Lacey Gillard versus Gold Leader in the Star Wars division. Here we go. Um. Hello, oh, Grace. Hello. How are you? So nice to see you. It's so nice to see you as well. I'm doing well. How are you? Oh, I'm wonderful. Thank you. You uh, you summoned me. <laughs> I mean, it's a little harsh, but but yes. And uh, and thank you for dressing up for this. You look very comfortable. It's, it's oh, nice. Uh, He's in his home. Sure you mean it. Well, of course. I just wanted to check in. I know that you've been working really hard on the slate. You know, as you know, obviously April is coming up really, really fast. So it's kind of like pedal to the metal. And I know you've been working really, really hard. And I just want to kind of see what you've been working on. Like not to micromanage, just to kind of check in. Sure, sure. So, uh, yeah, I have been working on the match slate. The and I was planning on announcing that today. I've been working on it kind of tirelessly. I was, it's been... Hours upon hours upon hours. Didn't really sleep, but I got it done and we're going to announce it today. So I will. Would you like me to tag you so you can see it? Oh, that's sweet of you. Um, Well, actually, you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking and I love all that work that you put into it. But I actually was thinking something. You know, here's what I'll say. I want you to just look at all that hard work. I want you to look at the slate. I want you to just enjoy all of that blood, sweat and tears. I want to give you just a little, a little pat on the back. Just a friendly little good for you. And then I want you to crumple it up and I want you to throw it in your fire pit and burn it because I don't care and it's trash. And I've actually been working on my own time and have come up with my own slate and I will be announcing that myself tomorrow. So thank you for all of your hard work, but without even seeing it, I know that it's garbage. So we're actually going to do my slate. Sorry. What the hell? It's not really, uh, it's not really how it works, Grace. Yes, it is. We're going to do mine. Anything else? You know, thank you for asking that. I do think there's something else. I had a thought, you know, I'm thinking about like branding and stuff like that. Why don't you change your Facebook profile pic? I'm thinking like a lioness. So why don't you do that today so that it'll be ready for my announcement tomorrow, okay? You want me to just, why, why do you need to change my profile for what? Are you gonna start taking over the Facebook group or something? That's exactly what I'm gonna be doing. You're out. I'm in. Change the profile pic. Okay, Grace. Awesome. Any questions? That's it on my end. Thank you so much. My pleasure. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> How many headphones is he going to smash this season?
Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Movie Trivia Schmodown. I'm Christian Harloff, and I'm joined by Mark Ellis as we continue Season 8. What a match yesterday with Brandon Hanna and Eric Zipper in the IG division. We take a little bit of a turn, and we go to the Star Wars division. Mark, we got two upcoming rookies with a lot of hype from the Resistance broadcast. Lacey Gillerin from the Den makes her debut against that crooked weasel, the gold leader. Yeah. Why do I call him that? Because he associated himself with the exchange. So I just assume everybody on that that faction <laughs> is a crooked weasel. Hey, it's kind of the way it goes when your leader is, in fact, the master splinter of crooked weasels. <laughs> Christian, we have the debuts of two folks in a galaxy far, far away here today. But do not make the mistake of thinking this is just some innocent farm boy or some princess in captivity. No, no, no. If knowing Star Wars was a crime, these two would have death sentences on 12, 12 systems. systems. It's know. very, very I true. And they both have impressed it. me with how they too. have just the way they've been handling themselves. And I have to be honest, maybe more so Lacey Gillerin than Go Leader, because Go Leader was uh, saying before he got drafted, hey, you should draft me. If you don't, you're a moron. Look at me. And that's why, you know, when it, when somebody starts insulting, it's like Gucci just wakes up from a dead <laughs> sleep and goes, oh, that's, that's someone I should associate I myself with. Real but Lacey Gillerin has been on shows, has been on these after shows before and after. And she, what I like about what, obviously we know she, how much she knows about Star Wars. If you listen to her podcast and, and she's associated with the Star Wars Newsnet, which is, you know very well, it's a great Star Wars site that everybody should be going to to get their Star Wars news. But before and after is what she said was, I didn't know the game that well, referring to Schmodown, but I do now and I'm in it. I'm invested. And that's what you like to see. Now, when you listen to Gold Leader, this guy says he's been winning tournaments left and right and back and forth. And it's like he's off the grid. It's like those boxers well, that say, oh, yeah, I'm 333 and, and, and oh, and I've beaten everybody in the amateurs. Well, do you have record of it? No. Nah. So who knows if this guy's really good? We're going to find out today. Uh, talking a big game is like having a trusty blaster or even a lightsaber by your side. But Christian, knowing the ins and outs of the movie trivia showdown, studying not just where the questions might go, but how the game flows, that is being won with the force. I like those Star Wars Newsnet kids. I remember reading a bunch of their news stories at a Denny's one time. Was that a dream? No, it was real. It was real. Okay. <laughs> All oh, right. Yes, well, we're right. going to find out. I mean, there's a lot of I smack talk that. from both sides, uh, I can happily yeah. say, uh, in this match. And we're going to see a little bit of how it all got built up, especially when you've got Mulligan versus uh, Gucci. Here you go. Mulligan Gucci. So to me, this is about a year where people are like, we're going to get down. We're going to get dirty. We're going to work. So I need people that are hungry. <laughs> I'm taking the very, very famous Lacey Gillerin. That's it. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. But I'm getting the best Star Wars guy. It's Gold Leader. Have I done enough yet? <laughs> I was here in Florida a couple of years ago for a Star Wars convention. I met a man who said, I will be a Schmodown competitor in the future. And that man was the gold eater. Where's the damn respect? Where's the damn respect? It's <laughs> like, was this guy? Oh, the gold leader? Yeah, okay. I'm not trying to knock you, but, but it's just it's... like, <laughs> if you want respect, you gotta go out and get it. Hello, it's gold leader here in this stunning gold, gold. bomber jacket. It's stunning and it's shiny. Just like my hopes and my dreams and my future in this league. Tom Dagnino going very unconventionally than he did last year. It's going to be interesting to see what his team looks like at the end of this draft. Oh, Gucky, 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 Gucky. Gucky. When will he learn, you know? He loses Bateman, he loses Riley. Who am I get? <laughs> Listen, it's not the first time that Gucky's picked up Goldschlager in his life, but Let's be honest, it's the one that's going to hurt him the most. I have nothing to say about these people because I don't know them. Yeah. I have no idea who these people I are. I have no idea what to expect. And like, hey, it's me, Lacey. And look, I get it. I'm new to the Schmodown. Many people are wondering what I know and doubting my abilities. I'm a no one. I get it. But you know who is a no one in Star Wars? Ray. Lacey Gillerun has not been given anywhere near 
as much credit as she needs. Yeah, I like this pick of Lacey here. She's from the Resistance Broadcast crew. She's one of those three. There is a lot of background knowledge and research and deep dives that go into having just a podcast. It isn't just oh, yeah. like- I'm sorry, Lacey, to be the one to say it, but it's gonna be a bloodbath. My bloodlust has taken me to all sorts of different matches all over the country I've been doing. And Laura Kelly DMs me one night and she's like, are you like, you've got to be playing your your gold leader, right? I had no clue at the time, but now I come to find out it's Evan, like going out there and smashing skulls. Don't sleep on this guy. I came to win belts. You're from the dead. I came to win titles. I came to beat other Star Wars players. And it looks like I'm starting with you, Lacey. You might as well call me Cassie and Andor because I've been in this fight since I was six years old. I have always loved Star Wars. I wasn't introduced to it through my dad or my brothers or friends or significant others or whatever. When you're lying on the ground in the snow like Kylo Ren and you're in shock, just remember who kicked you down there. I've been a little She's brother my entire life. If you break your cool for a second, they're gonna dig into that. And so I'm always smiling. I will peel over every single detail of these movies until I have enough knowledge to beat every player in this league. Lacey, you should consider yourself lucky that you were the first. I'm ready for the challenge. Oh, and spoiler alert, if the Battle of Yavin taught us anything about Gold Leader, it's that he's not making it out alive. To no one's surprise, Mulligan going after, um, I think, called him Goldschlager a few different times. And and then uh, obviously always going after Gucci. That's an easy target. And and then but you, to watch both Gillerin and and Gold Leader go after each other, knowing that this is the next step, this how much this actually means to move ahead. But I will say Gold Leader fits in to that ragtag bunch that that. Gucci has made so far this season. You look how different the exchange is from last year with the old pros, the legends. This year, it's 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 I don't know. It's it's like Zubali Zoo, Mark. Zubali Zoo. I'm just not gonna Zubali respond to Zoo. that, but I will say that these are two of the more <laughs> highly touted rookies that we've seen in some time. And Christian, one of yeah. them, as happens in a matchup between rookies, is going to leave here with a perfect undefeated record. The other will have some crawling to do out of a Sarlacc pit. Well, we're going to find out in just a moment. Are you ready, my friend? To anything to get us further away here, from Jubilee Zoo. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia showdown. Introducing first, representing the Finstock Exchange, making his showdown debut. Give it up for Gold Leader! That is some jacket. That is some jacket, Gold Leader. I thought I, I always let, try and look best when I go on the after shows. Uh, which one is this for again? This is not an after show. This is an actual match, Gold Leader. You're gonna be you're gonna be participating in well, an actual Star prepared. Wars match here today. You, you've been talking a lot about competing. Are you not Are you not ready to compete? Oh, I'm always ready. I just you know, I, it's it's been on the back burner, so. So you're, not taking, meetings, you know. so you're not taking this that serious, I, I take it. You, you, Lacey Gillerin is a very established she's a Star Wars mind, and, and you're not you're not preparing for this match? I didn't have to. Okay, well, that's very interesting. Your jackets remind me of a droid that once upon a time was fluent in over six million forms, forms of, of communication. communication. Do you think Seven you can answer now. six million questions in the world of Star Wars? That might be what it takes to get all the way to he the also top. He has a red light you on one better. his... I could probably answer six arm, million which was and the same one. Arm that, that might be pushing it. That's probably the theoretical limit, you know. But uh, you know, I'm still waiting on you guys to uh, send me your thank you cards. For for what? Yeah, for what? You guys, yeah, you guys have me in the. Yeah, I, I, this is a, a commitment of my time, so you oh. guys were able to 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 tie well, me down. So in the exchange you know, now. I, I was kind of hoping for something like that, but maybe a box of flowers if people send those, you know. Oh, so I mean, listen. Not, I, this is this is what I'll tell you. I think that you have found the right home on the Finstock Exchange. <laughs> That's oh, what I said. You know, I mean, I I can trust that. You know, Gucci is the only person that was smart enough to to see the potential, the unrealized potential. I say unrealized, but I've got a pretty good record under my belt already, and I, I just I came to conquer here, 
as I always have. And uh, Gucci sees that, and I'm glad to have him. All right. Well, thank you, Go Leader. Uh, yeah, is, it, is it a home at the Finstock Exchange, Christian, or is it a wretched what? hive of it's scum and villain. something else? I think you nailed it. All right, like, well, good more luck like a cardboard you. box. All right, well, good luck to you, Go Leader. More like we'll, a we'll house, see you in a, a moment. Really large dog. And his, his opponent, opponent representing the Dan making her showdown debut. She is the one and only Lacey Gillard! Hey here, the one and only Lacey Gillard. <laughs> it is a pleasure to have you in the league. I've really, as Thank I you. said in the opening, really enjoyed uh, the interviews and things that you've been saying. So take me back to the fact of getting into this league, not knowing a, a lot necessarily about the game, but since you got drafted, since you got involved, what's the preparation been like? Not just with Star Wars trivia, but Schmodown in general knowledge. Yeah, I mean, I am new to the Schmodown world. I've been pretty honest about that, but it doesn't mean I'm taking it any less serious than any of the veterans in the league. Um, I've been watching old matches, studying Star Wars, of course, um, and then just being a big part of my team. Like, I definitely study with the singles players and the inner geekdom players because I want to be a part of this just as may they want to be a part of it. So I'm really excited to be here. Although I find it interesting that Evan says that he hasn't done any prep, but he had time to buy that ugly jacket. We don't actually have evidence that there was money exchanged <laughs> for that jacket. Uh, what I will say is that unlike <laughs> the exchange and his him. manager, you seem to have found an actual home with the Den. And Kate Mulligan, what's that relationship been like competitor to manager? Kate is super supportive. She's hilarious. She has a great sense of humor and she's ready to push me to the next level and encourage me to dominate. All right. Well, uh, any other uh, thoughts on Go Leader, Lacey, before we go in here? I know that you guys have been going back and forth on Twitter <laughs> and there's been some, you know, conversations with Gucci, but any words going into this? Good luck. You're going to need it. Fair enough. All right. Thank you to Lacey. All right. So our it. competitors have joined Mark. And now we get to the rules of round number one. That's right. Round number one, it is in the field of Star Wars, meaning that there's 10 questions in the galaxy far, far away. Each question is worth a point. No penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing, at least not in round number one. As soon as we ask the question, you have 15 seconds to get that answer from the back of your brain into your hand onto the page that you're using to write. Yeah, you do need to write the answers just in round number one for now. As soon as we ask you by name or nickname to show your answer, please show what you wrote to your camera at the same time you verbalize your attempt into the microphone. Each competitor has three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the match. If you're not sure you heard a question right, you want to buy yourself another 15 seconds use a jeté rule you also each have one challenge you can utilize at any point during the three round match you may initiate it we'll bring in your manager they'll confirm and ratify that said challenge is taking place that is christian if the manager still shows up hey i think the manager actually is here today strangely enough mm -hmm. uh but right we are going to uh we're gonna get this thing started so we'll start with lacy are you ready i am ready gold leader are you ready always then, then let's, let's get, get ready, ready to Schmodown! Round number one, question number one, and it is in the realm of Revenge of the Sith. The Scythe. Who said, I sense a plot to destroy the Jedi. The dark side of the Force surrounds the Chancellor. Okay, I don't want to get off on the wrong track here, but what, what can you exercise with with a big headset on your face? Oh, dude, it's crazy. Five, four, ask me a question, two, three, two, one. Pens down, hands up, and Lacey? Uh, Mace, Mace Windu? Windu. Yes, gold leader. Mace Windu. Tie game, all right, next one. All right, we move on to The Force Awakens. And the question for a point. What Jakku scavenger captures BB-8 while riding his Lugga Beast? Yeah, so the answer is, right. you got a lot of uh, got a lot of time. It depends on how much space you have, but there's a lot of arm movements, a lot of jumping. It's really great. <laughs> I feel like you're just stalling. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. 
Hands down, please. I I and wrong, Goldie. But I got the answer right. Tito. It's Tito. Yes. Two Lacey. E's, not two D's. Sorry. Tito. Two, two, as we get to our next question. <laughs> question three. The best Star Wars movie of all time, The Empire Strikes Back. Who becomes Admiral after Darth Vader kills Admiral Ozzel? I guess I will say, I mean, Luke worked out pretty heavily with that blast shield. That's right. So. That's the first Oculus. <laughs> no? I don't think so. How do you know that? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And we start with Lacey. Piet? Yes. Oh, Piet. And go leader. Nita. Sorry, Piet. my bad. Three, three. Good start here by both the rookies as we get to question four. Yeah, just force took that admiral just right in front of everybody. Nobody cared. There's another day at work. The Empire. Your next question. The Phantom Menace is the movie. And your query for a point. Other than Anakin, whose engine isn't working at the beginning of the pod race? It's a great question, man. Yeah, it, it really is. is a good question. Ooh. It's a good one. You say great. I say difficult. And once again, I'll reiterate, I love the announcers in the podcast pod racing scene. Five, I like it too. They probably do a four, podcast. Three. Do you feel like it's you? Two. Yes, it is. <laughs> one. Pens down, please. Pens down, please. And we start with goal leader. Ben, ben Quadraneros. Yes, Lacey. Ben, Qu ben Quadraneros. Yes, and it is 4-4 four, four as we get into the fifth question. Great start here by both Lacey Actually, and Gold Leader and as we get to uh, the next question, Rogue One. Jin Urso says it's been how many years since she had contact with her father when Cassian asked her during their meeting with Mon Mothma? Tell you what, Christian, why don't we just make it easy on ourselves? You yeah. let me know, and I'll let you know when we get one of these. Sure. I think I got I didn't have it. Did I? I, I have five. I wouldn't have this one. No. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, hands up, please. And Lacey. Uh, 13 14 years? 14 years. That is incorrect. Gold leader? 16 years. Also incorrect. <sighs> Looking for 15. It. 15 years. Ooh. I had it, and I didn't capitalize. 15 years. Uh, but... Still tied up, both missed, and here's the next one. Fifteen, you simpleton. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we move on to a film that everybody loves and celebrates, and that is Return of the Jedi. And for a point, your question, what character says the line, soon you will learn to appreciate me in Return of the Jedi? I did read that that book about the lead up to Rogue One that yeah. friend of the show Ashley gave yeah. me. What was, it, you, uh, what was it called? I'll tell you in a second. Catalyst. Seven. Yep. Five. On the plane you read it. Four. Three. Two. One. Pens down, please, and gold leader. Job of the hut. Shoot. Yes, oh, Lacey. Oh, okay. no, no. I said Emperor Palpatine. Oh, so that's that gold too. leader taking his first lead there. Yep. Five, four. Five, four as he takes his first lead over Lacey. And we get to our next question. In The Rise of Skywalker, what previously deceased character does Kylo find to be alive on the uncharted planet Exegol? It's a weird day regardless, you know? Yeah, well. Bury someone, funeral. I've, I've had weirder. Priest says words. I think Five, it's done. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, please, Lacey. Palpatine. My answer, that's my answer right. was the previous <laughs> question. <laughs> Emperor Palpatine, but I really thought about writing Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> <laughs> six, five, six, five, and we get to our final, no, excuse me, we get to the eighth question in round number one. Christian, hitting the sauce early as we go to right. Attack of the Clones. That's episode two for your scorecards at home. For a point, your question, what type of creature tramples Jango Fett? in the Geonosian arena, damaging his jetpack during the battle. I'm very proud of you that you said that right. What? Yeah. We're, we're, we're... Geonosian. Yeah. I'm Wake Forest. Yeah. Okay. And five. Big silver. Four. Three. Two. <laughs> one. Pens down, please. Pens down. And gold leader. Reek? Yes. Lacey. Yes. Reek. There we go. So, 
right now. Seven six seven. Like six, what Mark Ellis does. Weeks of desperation. Yes. Oh <laughs> man. <laughs> Taking shots at Mark Ellis. Lovely. You with that suit on, he definitely doesn't smell bad with a suit like that. Aw, oh, see? Well, <laughs> Lacey, let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's our next one. Okay, in The Last Jedi, Last Jedi, what nickname does DJ give BB-8 while in prison on Canto Bight? Never done time. It's <laughs> good. Yeah. Uh, how long were we doing reviews together? And five, mm. four. Getting it from three, all sides. Two, <laughs> one. Pens down, please. And Lacey. Uh, Roundy? Goalie? Yes. Go leader. Uh, Roundy. Good one here. Eight, seven. Only a one point lead by go leader as we get to our 10th uh, question here. This is our final one in round number one. That's right. It's in uh, Star Wars, the, uh, the fourth episode which is also the first movie released, A New Hope, in your question. What does Wedge Antilles say when he first sees the Death Star? We're looking for the quote. Impressed. Very impressive so far with both rookies. Oh, they're doing great. Yeah, Yeah. eight to seven, one point matchup here so far. Four, three, two, one. Hands down, hands up, please, and go leader. Look at the size the of that thing. Of I yes, couldn't finish crazy. it in time. Look at the size of that thing. There we go. Nine, eight. So, so at the end of round, round number one, what a match so far by both go leader and Lacey Gillerin as we see ourselves <laughs> nine, eight at the end of round number one. And now we get into the second round. It is the wheel round. Mark, how's that go? Wait until Wedge sees the size of the wheel. Well, no, it, it's virtual, so we'll wait till we're in studio to invite him to a match. In the meantime, each one of the competitors gets a spin at that Thar virtual wheel, the Wheel of Fate, Doom, and Justice, because once you settle on a wedge, you're going to hear five questions from that particular realm. Each question's worth two points. That's the good news. The bad news, stealing is available in round number two. So if you're not sure of the answer, you can ask us multiple choice. We'll give you four options, one of which we think is the correct answer. At that point, the value of the question goes down to one okay christian they look focused they look ready to go it is going to be gold leaders choice because he enjoys a one-point advantage uh mr leader would you like to spin first or defer to your opponent i will defer (laughs) kate you got 60 seconds 60 seconds kate to talk to Lacey starting now Oh my goodness, you look good. Thank you, you look, so I'll much. tell you what, you look better than Gold LeMay. You know what I mean? Um, you, first of all, you're doing exactly what you need to do. I love that you missed that one. You shook it off. You made a joke about it. You are unfazed. I love Jabba, so I'm actually really mad at myself. <laughs> okay, guess what? Be mad at yourself later. Right now, we stay in the game. So yeah. we know what we're going to do in this wheel round. And mm-hmm. don't forget, you know this as well as I do a one point lead means nothing coming out of the first round right. so let's 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 take that lead back and let's do our thing how are you feeling i feel great this is fun also i'm having fun i'm so glad you took my advice to make sure you flirt with mark really good work. <laughs> really good work really good work on that um all right mark, let's, you ready to, you ready to <laughs> spin this thing? what you ready to spin this thing yes absolutely here we go okay i I'm missed on it mark Ellis. come on mark Flirting. Ellis became saying Mark doesn't smell as bad as Seth MacFarlane insinuated. Tell you what, Mark, take what you can get. Take what you can get, Marky. Okay. Phantom Menace, 60 seconds. What we do here? 60 <laughs> seconds to decide, starting now. I'm going to spin again, because why not? I like this wheel. <laughs> it's really fun. <laughs> That's okay. what I'm talking about. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So let's spin it again. So now whatever Lacey lands on, she's got to take. So we are going to see where it goes. Does it land again? on Phantom Menace, or does it hit something else? Does it land on Mark Ellis? Who's to say? Who's to say? Oh my God. And Solo. Whoa, solo no. is the category. I All right. What's going on over there? Solo. <laughs> All right. So now, Lacey, you're going yeah. to get five questions in the realm of Solo. Are you ready? I am. Thank Here you for go. asking. No problem. What was the name of the criminal organization that Lady Proxima was the head of? White worms? Yes, for two points. 
That's right. That's right. Kira says the coaxium Han stole is worth at least how many credits, maybe more, to the female guard as they're trying to escape Corellia. Multiple choice. Is it A, 600 credits, B, 700 credits, C, 800 credits, D, 900 credits? I believe it's A, 600 credits. Is incorrect. So, gold leader Kira says the coaxum Han Sol, excuse me, Han Stol is worth at least how many credits, maybe more, to the female guard as they're trying to escape Corellia. Is it A, 600 credits, B, 700 credits, C, 800 credits, D, 900 credits? That would be C, 800 credits. That's correct for a one point steal. I knew it. Big steal. We I just get the competitor. Just keep your hands up here just a little oh, bit. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. Please. Thank y'all. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. Thank y'all. I don't question. have any weapons. All right. Question three. Question three. What actor makes a cameo appearance as Rala Keeley? R A L A K. Clint Howard. Thank you. A male human who ran the droid fighting pits. <laughs> Clint in- Howard. I gotta finish the question. <laughs> Christian, I believe she's guessing Clint Howard. I think so, but I gotta finish it for the audio <laughs> listeners. Lacey, what actor makes a cameo appearance as oh, that's Rally- easy. That's uh, that's Clint Howard. Shut <laughs> up. A male human who ran the droid fighting pits in the lodge on Vandor. That would be Clint Howard. Thank you, Lacey. That is correct. <laughs> All right. So that was question number of uh, number four. That was three. That was three. Excuse me. That was three. Here's question four. According to the opening text of Solo, what two things do the runaways get in return for committing crimes for Lady Proxima? Food. And shelter? Multiple choice. Okay. No. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Here it is. Is it? Sorry. A, shelter and food. B, weapons and food. C, shelter and protection. D, weapons and vehicles. It's C, shelter and protection. protection. Yes, for one more point. Shelter and protection. And here is your final question. Here we go. I changed my answer while I heard What member... Of the Cloud Riders goes on to join Saw Guerrera's partisans. Uh, we two so tubes no. or Benthic? That yeah. is correct. For two oh. points. All right, nice working there by Lacey. Only losing that one point steal, but we see ourselves 15 10. She picks up five points over goal leader. Father. Gold leader, you're the gold standard. Hello. We got the do it fluid. You know, Kate and Cagney and Lacey are going to a party that they weren't invited to. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. All right. I got you loud and clear. Yeah. Let's roll that. Let's roll it. And here is the wheel, and here's the spin. Christian, what would Uncle Owen say if the Jawas tried to sell him Dagnino? Uh, no. I quit. Oh, oh, opponent's great. choice. All right, 60 Whoa. seconds, Kate, to decide what you want to give him. Um, boy, did you understand what Gucky just said? I sure did. <laughs> I have um, no idea what he said. Oh. <laughs> I feel bad. I almost feel bad for Gold Member. Um, mm. I think the thing we were thinking about giving him doesn't appear to be here. Mm. So what do I'm you think? Thinking, I'm thinking Rogue One. I, that's what I was going to suggest next. Do the two solo stories. Yes. For buddies, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Keep it, keep it. (laughs) Yeah, perfect. So final answer, Lacey, go ahead and give it to them. Yeah, Rogue One. Okay, so go leader. All right, so go leader, you're going to get five questions in the realm of Rogue One. Are you ready, sir? I'm always ready. All right, Mark, here you go. All right, go leader. Been saddled with Rogue One, not necessarily of your own volition, but here we are. Five questions. For two points, your first question is, I think Gold by what alias is Jin Erso going by, according to General Draven? Oh, I mean, Leanna Halleck? Yeah. It's that easy, yes. Okay. Yeah, I remember, I, I remember that you said it, yeah. All right, question right? two. From reading the book. Is, what does K2SO say is his specialty? 
strategic analysis. Two more points, and he's suddenly within one of oh, Gilrin's lead. Christian, he could take the lead outright if he scores two more points here. In the category of Rogue One, how many credits are awarded if anyone has information about Bodhi Rook? Gonna say 600 credits. And you're gonna be right and enjoy oh, a one point lead. 500, so no and Here's the next one. Question Your four. penultimate question in the world of Rogue One, the sequel to Catalyst, the book. What was Bodhi Rook's final line in the film Rogue One? This is for you, Galen. Oh, Christian, he is storming awesome. through this round. That was impressive. All right, and so we see ourselves right now, five point lead for Gold Leader as we get to our final question in round number two. And it's staying in the category of Rogue One, a Star Wars story for two Luke points. Much you can do what with character a says, not a day goes by that I don't think of you. But today, of all days, it's a trap, isn't it? Saw Guerrero. Christian, that is a perfect round two. I got to ask wow. two questions about a character named Bodhi, which is always fun. And wow, Gold Leader looks like well, he has the right though. stuff as we head into round three. In round number three, each competitor is going to give us a series of numbers. Those numbers correspond to a unique category of movie trivia schmodown Star Wars goodness. Your numbers that you give us may range from 1 to 20. We need three integers from each of you. You may not pick the same numerals as your opponent. Your first question, to you and only you, there's no stealing, no penalty for missing a question, is worth two points. Your next one's worth three points. Your final question is worth five big points. Lacey's still well within range, but it is going to be Gold Leader's option to give us his lucky numbers first from 1 to 20. What feels destined? That would be two, three, and seven. Two, three, and seven for the goal leader and for Lacey. I'm going to do 19, eight, eight, and. 19, 19 eight, okay. And 10. 19, eight, and 10 for Lacey. Two, three, and seven for gold leader. 60 seconds, Bobby, to talk to gold leader starting now. Here in the Finstock Exchange. We invest our wealth in growth. And that's exactly what you did there. Pretty amazing stuff. Opponent's choice, who cares? Look what you did there. Fantastic. Great debut so far. Let's get this TKO. Let me just ask you, how much did you pay for this jacket? I got it for free and then I shipped it to you. Did you get the steaks I sent too? I did, the Omaha, yeah, they're, they're in the freezer. Perfect, that's all we're looking for. We're gonna have a big dinner Sunday. Virtual. It's good, of course. Yeah. Let's let's knock this out. Absolutely. Ow. It's like Finish watching an, it's like watching an animated series of Tweedledee and Tweedledum. <laughs> All right, Kate, sixty seconds starting now. Hi, gold member. If you're listening, just blink a couple times if you need help. Lacey and I are. <laughs> oh God! Listen, it ha whatever happened. Like, he he did great, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That has nothing to do with us. We're of course gonna not. Continue to do great. You mm -hmm. are showing up and showing out on this. So let's stay in the game. Mm -hmm. We got this. I mean, also, if, if we need anybody to turn on him, all we have to do is announce that the guy's favorite movie is The Last Jedi. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Good luck coming back from that, Gold Schlager. All right, so we start here with Lacey. Lacey's going to try to avoid the uh, TKO here. As we get to your first question, Lacey, you chose category 19. Are you ready? I am. All right, here we go. Category 19. That would be... The Empire Strikes Back. After Luke was revived from the Wampa attack, Han said that he looked strong enough to do what? Pull the ears off a of Gundark. For two points. Lacey is fighting back here. Lacey's fighting back here as she gets those two big points. And now here is the three-pointer Lacey. You chose category number eight. Heroes. Heroes. Here it is. Okay. How many Star Wars movies does Captain Ramus Antilles of Alderaan appear in? Two. Two. It's incorrect. Looking for a that's new right, hope, three. Revenge of the Sith. And yeah. Rogue One. Yeah, that's right. So now, where we are is five point question here for Lacey. Crucial. She gets it, then it goes back to Goldmember and he tries to win the game and she avoids the TKO. <laughs> However, if she member. misses, 
the Finstock Exchange will get the TKO and the Den will be docked a point. Here is the question, Lacey. You chose category 10. Category 10. And here is the question and the category is Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. Deep Roy played flute playing member of the Max Rebo band. What is the character's name? Droopy McCool. For five big points, avoiding Whoa. the TKO. The TKO is gone. All right, so Lacey hits her five point question, and now we bounce back to goal leader who must hit his two in order to tie the game. Mark, he chose category number two. No knockouts here, Christian. And Tim Couch's number two corresponds to the category of the never controversial The Last, the Last Jedi. Jedi. <laughs> For two questions and a tie. Here it is. When Luke asked Ray what she knew about the Force, she replied, it's a power the Jedi have that lets them control people and what? Make things Move float. Things it does make things float. That is an accurate statement and a correct one for gold leader. Christian, got us a tied ball game. All right. So now, Mark, here's where we stand. If gold leader hits his three-pointer, he wins the game. However, if he misses, then he has an opportunity to do it in the five-pointer. All right. So now we get to category number three, Mark, for the three-pointer. That's right. And it happens to correspond to the one that started it all, the granddaddy of Star Wars, A New Hope, episode four. Gold leader for the win. Here's your question. What are the names of Luke's two friends that he mentions have left while having dinner with his aunt and uncle in A New Hope? Biggs and Tank. And you the three-pointer for New Hope. He does it. Congratulations to Gold Leader and to Gucci. All right, guys, thank you very much. We are going to let you celebrate now with Jen Sturger. Mark, it was a big victory. Look, the funny thing is, Lacey played great. Lacey played really, really good. For someone who played yeah. the game for the first time, navigated through, went to multiple choice, only lost that one point. The problem was when she, and that's the, also the problem, facing someone that you've never faced before. You don't know if Rogue One is a strength or a weakness. So you take you take a shot and go, I don't know, maybe he's not good at it. Turned out he was great at it, and he didn't miss a single question. He, got, he wound up getting 10 points. And when you go to multiple choice on your turn and you lose a point, that's going to hurt you a little bit. And that, But she avoided the TKO, which was massive, and then doesn't lose any points. Lacey showed a lot of heart today. Yeah. And Gilroy performed admirably. But again, you run into a brick wall, or in this case, a yellow brick road, who not only is a big fan of Rogue One, apparently, but also knows The Last Jedi inside out. He probably asked us to autograph that poster in the background a few years ago. But Gold Leader with a sterling rookie debut here in the movie trivia schmodown christian the kid looks lights out and i say lights out for a reason because i think the people at the top tier of star wars competitors may be watching this match and saying uh, i i don't know that i want to play either one of these but especially not that gold jacketed fellow it's true so uh, look J jen sturger just had to deal with uh oh no she didn't i thought she had she, she had to worry about brother lomas and frankie Alvarez. she wasn't she wasn't around for for that with brother lomas so uh lacy gillerin oh, yeah, uh, right. it put up a hell of a fight here with the den but jen sturger still has to deal with dagnino and go leader and we're going to find out how that's going to happen in just a sec <laughs> you know it's like han solo says sometimes i amaze even myself <laughs> yeah i'm the greatest I'm the greatest. The Finstock Exchange don't get got. We go get. That's Tom, what happens. A lot of people were looking at your draft and they were wondering how you were going to pull out this season because they were just like, he made so many bone mate bone head mistakes. And it's like, and here we are. You're in the winner's circle again. Look, you know, change is good. You have to constantly reinvent yourself. And like I said to Kate and Lacey, they both play great and they're, you know, they're good people but don't come to parties you're not invited to. Now look at this. 
every you single person that, who you? drafted, in our opinion, from the dossier should have been a number one pick overall. That's just the facts. Still going with dossier, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Dossier. <laughs> mm-hmm. Hi, you got to tell me, though, when he when they handed him opponent's choice, when he spun opponent's choice and they handed him Rogue One, <laughs> were you confident at all he could navigate that category? He has no weaknesses. A, a man with a jacket no like that weaknesses. has no weaknesses. I sent that to him. Except his sense of style, but yes. I sent it, I first sent it to Lomas and he blessed it and then he sent it there. <laughs> so basically that's what's happening here. We're one big family. Other factions, they don't even know what they're doing. They don't, they don't talk to people. They don't do anything. I got people from other factions calling me constantly being, hey, I heard you guys are doing some real study in there. Can we join in? No loser, you can't. That's just the way it goes. I didn't draft you, you're not on my team, you can't deal with us. We're under strict rules not to talk to any other person in any other faction until the season is over when they're congratulating us. That's wow. it. Wow, it's a, gag, a gag order in, in, in Gucci's world, all right. So Gold Leader, I have to say, you know, a lot of people were wondering whether or not, you know, you could talk the talk, obviously, but could you walk the walk? Do you feel like you proved that here today? I absolutely walked the walk, <laughs> as you saw, and uh, you know, I think uh, I think it's a good time for me. I, I've been waiting to get here for so long, and now that I'm finally here, I am I am stepping to the beat, and I will mm-hmm. not miss the beat. So I have to ask. This is kind of my obligatory question, but who do you want next? Well, you know, I've had um, I've had my eye on these Dragon Con people for a while, and I know who Ooh. you guys are thinking I'm going to say, but I want Marvelous Marie. That's Whoa. who I want now. Mm. I want to take out all three of these people. It's three of them, right? Yeah, we're going to stomp every, we're going to stomp everybody. It doesn't cannon matter. Cannon fodder. It's all cannon fodder. Mm-hmm. But I should I say bantha fodder. Um, but I, I am uh, I'm going for I'm going for Marie. Marie Wilson. All right. Well, we'll see if we can get that done. Congratulations, gentlemen. Uh, Tom. Hey, once great again. Seeing you. Don't go to, you know, don't go to sleep smart and wake up stupid. Right. Back to this. I don't know. I feel stupid every time Danino talks. Just, uh, yeah, is it is it just what? me, Christian? I, I'd like everybody at home to, to rewind and go back to the interview. It was hilarious how it was framed because it was Jen and Gold Leader, and then Dagnino looked like Beetlejuice at the end when he gets his head shrunk. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, that's just how he looks in life. But uh, I will say this: as much as this guy Gold Leader has been talking up a storm and asking us to thank him for being in the league and telling the Facebook group they're idiots for not putting him on the fantasy thing. He showed up. He showed up. He he looked great in that second round. He he took care of that two pointer and he beat a very game opponent in Lacey Gillerin. So calling out Marie Wills. Marie had a great, great appearance against Sean Sullivan. They're both one to know. So now the question is do they face each other? Do they go after that? This new crop of Star Wars players, do they face each other? With Especially in the fact that right around the corner is the first Star Wars tournament. Are they playing for a better seed? What's going to happen? I don't know, but it is... This Star Wars division is the most stacked it's ever been. Ever. This is this is a crazy season. It's nuts, and we here at the Schmodown, we don't care if you talk the talk as long as you can back it up by walking the walk. I mean, even if you can't back it up, we still let you talk. We're pretty laissez-faire here. But I would say the gold leader performed up to his name billing, where you put that guy in an X-Wing, he's going to take out a lot of TIE fighters. Lacey played well, and she just came up a little short here today, but she's also somebody in the future of the Star Wars and, and maybe other competitions down the road, someone to be feared. All right, so now we are going to throw to Jen Sturger, who's with both Kate Mulligan. And Lacey Gillard. Kate, I think your face says it all for all of us. Can, can we invoice for more when we have to play against Gucci? <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can get done. I don't have anything to do I with mean, the Honestly, Jen, just see just whatever you can do because honestly, I I feel the brain cells leaving my brain. <laughs> I can't anyway, sympathize with you enough. After you, my dear, after you. <laughs> Kate, you still have to be very impressed with how Lacey played today, despite the outcome. Beyond. I wanted her to kick the door in. She did it. You look at that. She had a, per- she, well, she, okay. But she, uh, she, was, she did a perfect five-pointer. I was about to say she had a perfect third round. But she, uh, truly, 
listen, that wheel round, it, it either it either serves you or it doesn't. It did not serve right. us today. And I nope. honestly am not, I can't even be like, oh, we gave him a, he seems like he, he's, he would have had a great second round no matter what he was dealt, it sounds, it seems like. Yep. So for me, That's I just feel like That's Lacey true. played beautifully. I love her personality. I love the spunk she shows. I could not be happier with this if, except for if it was a win. So I, I am proud. I am proud of this draft pick of mine. I am proud of the way she's conducted herself. I love, nobody has worked as hard as Lacey. Okay, she is behind the scenes going over matches. And, and so to me, this is exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to have a big introduction to the world. She hung, she did beautifully. I'm so proud of her. Lacey, how do you feel about your overall game? You know, are you happy with the fact that you were able to fight back in round three? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. I, you know, absolutely. I knew going into this match that gold leader was going to be tough. Uh, he knows his stuff and he's cocky for a reason. Um, and he's also very nice besides all that. But yeah. Well, okay. He was going to that part <laughs> out. <laughs> but uh, I knew going into it that he, he was going to be a tough match and I had to be at the top of my game. And, and, and I was for the majority of it. You know, it's just what questions you get is how it ends up. So sometimes you get questions like he did for Rogue One. I knew all those questions that he got. Mm -hmm. And I was sitting there like, oh gosh, if I got these questions, I would have gotten these too. So it's just the way- Isn't that, isn't that frustrating when you're like- Yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. But the way that I see it is, you know, some of our favorite heroes in Star Wars, including Luke Skywalker, stumbled at some point and then come back to be the hero. So I have no problem fighting back. Some people back. lost hands, you know, so. Right, I don't have, I have no problem fighting back and, and being the underdog because if you're at the top or you win a match like he is, he only has farther to fall than I do. So I'm not worried about it. I would like an to interesting say though, perspective. yeah, Lacey will not be moving herself to an island to hoard a bunch of texts. So no, I no, I will not. Because that's not her Luke Skywalker. No. Good to know. Good to know. So Lacey, walk me through when you gave him, when he spun opponent's choice, what was your reasoning in giving him Rogue One? Did you guys think that there weren't any weaknesses really on the board or, or did you really in your gut think that that was going to be an obstacle for him? You know, Christian and, and Mark said it perfectly in that we're both rookies, so we still each other don't know our own weaknesses. Um, and I'm sure I'll learn more about him as the season goes on. But it was one of those things that I was like, I knew Rogue One had a lot of references and deep cuts compared to the original trilogy or some of the prequels too, mm -hmm. that I was hoping that some of those questions would land. And unfortunately, the ones that landed were ones I also knew, so I knew he was gonna know them. Yeah, and, and Kate, you have Preston versus White with corruption coming up. Like, does, mm -hmm. this, does this loss at all put any kind of pressure on you whatsoever? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's sweet. No, no, no. Corruption. I mean, like, honestly, anybody who would make the trade deal like uh, Shannon did with me, uh, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, doesn't have a lot going on up there. So we're going to be fine. Yeah, you're going to be fine. Let's hope she doesn't see this tape. All right, <laughs> tough loss today, Lacey. I can't sure wait to see though, what you're going to do in this league. I'm. I think you should be so proud of your performance Thank today, you. and it's only up from here. Yeah, I'm just getting started. Love it. Back to the desk. This is only the beginning. You gotta appreciate that attitude. You gotta appreciate the fact. It's like, yeah, I'm not done. I, I, I I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna come back. And you also gotta give credit where credits due. Gold leader is for real. I mean, he he like we said, he he talked it up. How good he was. Whatever those fake contests were that he was making up that he was playing in, they were good fake contests because the man is good. He's really, really good. I don't know if he's beaten Marie Wilson type of good, but we're, maybe we'll find that out. But either way, we'll see. Gucci has a Star Wars competitor, and that also is pretty, pretty nuts when you think about it because, uh, you know, people were giving Gucci a lot of crap. He's got, the, he's got this draft where nobody knew who any of these people were. Brother Loma's had a nice performance. He didn't win, but Gold Leader gets it done. Gold Leader gets it done. And now we're also going to see what's this Rick Raddus character going to do. He's got a match coming up against Christy V. That's another one. Can the exchange get another victory? I don't know. And then obviously we're talking about Roca versus Miller. That's the big one. If you guys didn't know, we have so oh, many so pay-per-views. So many pay-per-views. Three a month. And we've got two more big ones coming up. So this Friday, William, the Beast, Bibiani, the former movie trivia Schmodown singles champion of the world and former team's champion takes on former singles champion 
primetime Paul Oyama. In the main event, you're talking Star Wars. Well, the longest reigning champion in Schmodown history, the demon, Alex Damon, puts the title on the line and tries to get an unprecedented fifth title defense in a individual division. And he tries to do it against Andrew the Hunter Dimolanta. Wow. That is all. You can go to the Schmodownlive.com, buy your tickets there if you want, or if you're a $10 patron, you get it all. Next week, next year, next month, we've got the free for all. We have all these different pay per views, and it's all for you guys at the $10 tier. Pretty great lineup of pay per views, and a pretty great match we were treated to today, partner. The Star yep. Wars Schmodown is exploding like no other league division in recent memory. And I'm just. Happy to still be holding on for the action. Gold leader takes the win today against the up for battle Lacey Gillerin. And I think we're going to see a lot more of them in Star Wars. Who knows what the future holds? But like you said, that matchup potentially between Wilson and the leader is going to be one for the books. I think so. I mean, and and it's it's all and that, that's a division where you only need a couple of wins, maybe two, maybe three to get yourselves uh, within range to get a title shot. So there's so much. I mean, Laura Kelly is waiting around. Obviously, she's got a number one shot. The question is, who does Laura Kelly play? Does Laura Kelly play Dimolanta? Does Laura Kelly play Damon? We're going to find out. So much great Schmodown coming up here. So we thank Lacey Gillerin and Kate Mulligan. We thank Gold Leader and Mr. Bobby Gucci. And, of course, Jen Sturger, the rest of the crew here helping out so much. And to Mark Ellis. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate it. Make sure you click like. Make sure you leave a comment. Show, show your support to the new rookies coming in. You get three matches. You get three matches every week for free on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So all we ask, click like. Leave a message. Let the new competitors know that you're supporting them. And we will see you tomorrow. This is my score for this match. This is, I believe, it's my lowest score in a Star Wars match, and I'm mad at myself for pulling out this type of a score. Um, of course, I this, uh, this only means that I just need to study. I just need to study more. I got my own match coming up soon, which I'm st starting to be a little bit nervous with, with, my, with, this perf with a performance like this. However, uh, I this comes up after uh, my reaction to... Um, the Inner Geek the match, which I did pretty good on that one, did very good as a matter of fact. So this score really shouldn't deter me too much the, uh, from uh, from that match. In any case, a really solid, stellar debut for both of them. A gold leader just happened to uh, pull out the victory this time, but like uh, Christian said, Lacey got the got out of TKO range, so uh, they, she didn't lose any points for the den. So that's the the main thing. When you're playing up against a gold leader and he's playing like this, avoiding the TKO seems to be the best possible option uh, at this point, especially with how her game uh, was looking at going into uh, to round three. But anyways, that's enough uh, me rambling about this uh, match. I got one more match to uh, watch and react to, and that's Jader Paramo versus Janine the Machine. I'm very excited for that one. First singles match uh, of the week. So, uh, should be very exciting. In any case, uh, thank you all for watching, if you have. And I will see you guys on the next match. See you then, everybody. Shout out! Hello again, everybody! I really hope you enjoyed this video. Because I really enjoyed making it. So, if you like what you've seen here, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So until next time guys, I'll see you guys next time.